equipped car either. The windows don't wind down, for instance. There are no toys at all. And you only get half a steering wheel. However, there is one amazing thing you get for your 1.8 million pounds. An all expenses paid trip to a racetrack of your choice, where an Aston Martin test driver will teach you how to drive your car, not with the engine wound down to 500 horsepower, but with it turned up to the max. for your money is a squadron of mechanics. But sadly, not a handbrake. Right, what I've done now is I've taken, yes, taken the steering wheel off so I can't put it in gear to stop it rolling away. Oh, God. Ah! 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 When I'd finally got it to stop, the jacks were deployed and the mechanics set to work. That's the thing about the Vulcan. Wing angle, roll bar, suspension, brakes. Everything can be adjusted to suit your personal taste. After 10 minutes of pretending I knew what they were doing, I was back on the track. And the car felt just as bonkers as it had done before. However, I've changed. I've been driving this thing now, I don't know, three or four hours, and I'm starting to understand it. I'm starting to get used to it. I'm starting to trust it. Now I'm starting to understand why the Vulcan could go around the Nardo handling circuit in southern Italy. Nine seconds faster than the McLaren P1. Oh, 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 o